Hey out there, this is Buzz with the Survival Buzz. So uh, I'm sure you guys have noticed I took a little break from the YouTubes. Honestly, I, uh, I suggest everybody take a break from time to time and kind of just let loose and uh, enjoy life, uh, not just be caught up online all the time. Um, you know, I do this channel to help people and, you know, I like to communicate with people and, and meet new people and uh, build like community and things like that. But uh, it's not everything, you know. Um, I put, you know, quite a bit of effort forth um, for these stories, these videos and different things. And uh, it's not as easy as a lot of people think. It's very time consuming. So uh, I took a little break just to kind of reset. Um, and now I plan on being back here and making some more videos. But just to kind of give you a background of why I haven't been on here. Uh, but the world is getting crazier and crazier, isn't it? Uh, I've only been gone a little over a week, and it just seems like day to day just gets more nuts and more nuts. And honestly, that's part of the reason I took a break. It just seems like, I mean, over half of the vast majority of these prepper channels are just merely on here to fear monger and get people all worked up. And, uh, you know, it works at times. So, um, but there's lots of crazy things going on, um, you know, the whole deal with the IRS buying up all the ammo, you know, and weapons, uh, as well as ever other agencies out there as well. Um, nothing new under the sun pretty much, but it's becoming more and more of a reality, uh, as well as, you know, the IRS now they're trying to, you know, hire on another 87,000 employees, I think it is. So yeah, they're going to start coming after the little man basically. And then you have things, um, you know, not a lot of big stories with this one. I was, I don't even remember where I heard about it and I looked it up and there's not a lot out there really, but, uh, you know, in San Antonio, they're doing, uh, live action fire, like military type drills in the city and didn't even warn the residents there. I guess it was like a neighborhood type area and people were freaking out because it sounded like bombs and machine guns going off and they weren't even notified. So strange events going on with stuff like that. Um, and then, you know, the ATF knocking on people's doors, wanting to know about guns they bought and things. It's really coming to a head, you know, and honestly, I feel like, you know, and I'm guilty of it as well, but I feel like most people out there are waiting for like this huge giant event, you know, like a nuke's going to drop on the United States and everything's going to fall apart or, or the feds are just going to come and just kick your door in, you know. And yeah, that can happen, but uh, it's it's sort of a slow process what they're doing, and it's the frog in the boiling water syndrome. It's basically you just don't notice it's happening, but when you add all of these these dots up, you connect all the dots. It's uh, it's apparent that the reality of our gov coming after us and trying to disarm us is becoming more and more of a reality every day and if you don't see that I don't know how to show you I mean just the few things I just said if, if that isn't scare the ever-living crap out of you I don't know what would now does this mean I'm just gonna run around with my hands in the air screaming and yelling and terrified no of course not you know we got to keep on keeping on keep prepping keep putting things back but uh and you know I wouldn't say I'm but like I'm not fully prepared in that that protection area but I'm way ahead of the the most normal people I guess you'd say if well considering what you think is normal but uh, I'm, I'm for the people out there that don't have protection devices and lots of things to feed them you're running out of time you literally are out of time pretty much um, on top of all the craziness, you know, they're going to roll out this new digital currency crap. They're going to know every little thing you do, every little thing you buy, even more so than they already do. You know, I know they're already tracking us. I get that. You know, you'd have to be blind not to see it. But it's going to get more intense to where if you don't have the things that you need like that, you're probably not going to get them. And at the time, if you wait too long, you do, well you're going to be one of the ones that are going to come to their door pretty quick like I'm sure I'm on a list somewhere I'm sure a lot of us are but you wait till that new system rolls out and they know every little thing you do even more so than now it's not going to be pretty and when the time comes I hope people are willing to stand up 
and fight for this country that other people fought and died for, for us. And not just lay down and let it go. Because once it's gone, and I'm not saying we're gonna build another, or rebuild what we already had, that, that, that's gone, man. It is gone, they're just pissing all over our rights at this point. But uh, we're gonna have to rebuild from somewhere, from the ground up, it sounds like. But in order to do that, we're all gonna have to stand up to do that. If we all lay down on this one and we let it go, the America we know and love, we'll never get it back, never. And I know that's easier said than done, but I hope people are willing to fight for their freedom. So that's it. I'll be back on here making videos. Like I said, I needed a break. Been spending time with the wife, a little time with the family, just uh, enjoying life. I'll catch you guys on the flip side. Later.